So we're starting this new video series on YouTube. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, on YouTube. Oh, I've never watched that. Really? No, it's for girls. Wait, YouTube is for girls? Yeah, that's why it's spelled that way. E-W-E-T-U-B-E-U, -E -E the girls, sheep. Oh, no, 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 it's it, YouTube, Y-O-U. You use a different internet than me. Apparently. So, oh, that's better because, I mean, really, like, like, God would ever use girls for anything important? Oh, Jeff, God uses girls for all kinds of important things. Girls, women, there's lots of women in the Bible. And, um, and, and, and ever since then, God has used women for all kinds of ways for his kingdom. He has? Oh, yeah, sure. Like, for example, in our lesson today, uh, Tabitha, uh, some of her friends called her Dorcas. It was just a translation of her name. She helped out all kinds of people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she, she made cloth and clothing uh, that people needed, like poor people that needed stuff and that. And, and she would help people in all kinds of ways. Oh, yeah, she seems really nice. And you're welcome, by the way. Welcome. No, no, no. We're, we're talking about Dorcas. No, no, no. For the wool. Oh, yeah, behind every good seamstress is a great sheep. Hmm, I suppose that's true. You know, it's like it says in the Bible, how beautiful are the sheep of those who bring good wool. Uh, no, that's how beautiful. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so anyway, um, well, this, this person, uh, this lady, Dorcas, she got sick and she died. And a lot of people were really sad about that. And, and word kind of spread all over. And Peter, Jesus' disciple, uh, he was nearby. And so they asked him to come. And so he raised her to life so that she could go around and keep on showing God's love. She was doing really important work. And, and God loved her and, and, and God wanted to keep on using her. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it is. So she was that important? Well, yeah. But we're all important to God. I mean, that's why he sent Jesus to die for us on the cross. Because he loves everyone and he wants us all to live forever with him. In fact, just like he raised up Dorcas, then he's actually going to raise everyone up someday so that we can all live with him. Really? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it is. And it's going to be so much better in a new world and everything. And But until then, we get to show God's love to people in our lives using the gifts that God has given to us. Really? Yeah. Well, that's great. So let's, let's ask him for help with that. Good idea. You can pray with me at home. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving me gifts to share with others and show them your love. In Jesus' name, amen. So, wait a minute. So everyone has gifts that God that they can use to help other people and show them God's love? Yeah, everybody does. So what about the people at home? Do they have gifts? Yeah, everyone does. So, okay, so what are your gifts? And this is a question you can talk about with your families. Right? What gifts has God given you and your family so that you can show others the love of Jesus? Oh yeah, and he's given gifts to each person individually, but he's also given gifts to families that they can use. Yeah, okay, so you guys can talk about that at home. All right. So, uh, thanks everybody for watching, if you're still watching. Yeah, maybe. And, um, and we have more videos and resources and great people at stjameslutheran.com. You can go ahead and click, and, um, and if you'd like to give us your feedback, you can click the contact link there, and we'd love to hear from you. Okay, bye!